Hey everyone and welcome to Mad Investor again. So today I'm actually coming with a bit of a bad news and a good news. So the bad news is that recently on your um, app, on your trust wallet, you've probably seen a message browser removal and that your in-app browser has been removed per App Store guidelines. And this is only for iPhone and iOS users. This is not for Android users. You guys shouldn't be concerned. This is only for iOS. And this is a big, uh, I would say, a bad news and a negative thing, because when you go right now to your trust wallet, uh, you will see that there is no browser anymore. There's no dApps anymore. And why is that? What, what, why did it happen? First, guys, I actually uh, saw it in the um, trust wallet's website. I saw that they removed the um, app because it must conform the Apple's guidelines to be listed in their App Store. DApps by nature constitutes code not embedded in AMP binary and needs, need to meet the several criteria to allow it to be in iOS. And to be honest, for the past year and actually for the last few years, we saw that that happened already, that mm, previously the Trust Wallet has removed already a uh, browser, but then it brought it back. But this one, I see it's a final one, which, you know, I think it's a really big minus as obviously it shows that it's removing the quick access the easy access to our assets to the dApps which is decentralized apps for everyone so to actually do it uh, what we'll have to do first you need to go to safari and go to pancake swap so there is a way to work around it i'll show you right now how to do it so then what you'll do you go to top right button called connect and then instead of a trust wallet like normally you would press a wallet connect and when you press a wallet connect what will happen right now, you see that you can choose from many different wallets and you can need to just trust wallet right now. And now it moves you to the trust wallet app where you can actually see that it says online that it's connected. And this is the totally different way to connecting right now and working with trust wallet. Now, if you go, go back to Safari, you see on the top right that it's connected on your Safari browser with your trust wallet. It's a um, workaround, I would say. It's not a best solution, but it's the easiest solution right now for all of you iOS users who are looking into, you know, using that uh, iOS and iPhone. And I'll be pretty honest with you guys. I think this workaround works okay, but also as a principle, it's a really big minus for Apple to do that. As obviously it's removing that dApps, the centralization, something which a lot of crypto people are going for. And what I see is obviously Android devices are not um, affected by it. And this is also a big plus for Android. Like <laughs> lately, like I'll be honest, I'm a huge Apple fan. I'm a huge Apple fan. I have an iPhone since 2G and I had all the iPhones in between uh, through them. I, uh, I have a MacBook. I use Apple environment all the time. But lately I start, started lo looking into Android and Samsung mainly because I see that there are so many ways which I cannot do on Apple anymore. They're either banned, it's harder to do it. That's why, as you can probably see, I started already looking into other Android devices and just, you know, testing it out to see like, what is the difference? It's obviously when, like how you know, I want to provide you with content for, you know, all of you, not only for iOS users, but also for Android users, uh, because I know that um, in general, like, I know that um, it's all about the choices, right? And all about making the life easier, not harder. That's why also this tutorial is for you, so you can learn about it and see in a really quick way, um, like, how to do it. But uh, in general, I'm really disappointed with uh, what Apple did. I know that with Trust Wallets, it happened already a few years ago. It, I hope, really, I hope it will come back at some point, because uh, if it's not, that means it's, uh, you know, it's a big minus for them and not actually not looking into really good future with all the decentralization and dApps. So we'll see how it goes. But I hope that you enjoyed that video, that it helped you to connect and work with your Trust wallets if yes just leave a like and subscribe to this channel and also if you have other um, kind of help needed or tutorials which you want us to create just leave it in the comments I'll be happy to create some more content for you as many times I know that actually the content which I create it's asked by the one of the users thanks a lot guys and well I hope to see you in the next video take care